Today, I'm going to jump into the void and somehow survive. Then I'm going to redeem myself from last episode and go back to the ancient cities. And also don't forget to get a signed friend or foe poster from sp737.store. A poster that four YouTubers have signed is super rare and Clown even had to fly to England to sign it. So don't miss your chance to be a part of history. Today we either gain a life or we die. There's going to be no in between. I'm going to be doing something very, very risky again. And I will be doing stuff to do with the wardens later on as well. It's going to be a, an interest episode, but I've prepared well. It's raining, it's dark. Okay, that's no good. I just need to gather up materials for this contraption. I also need to try and clear some space in my inventory. I've got absolutely full of stuff. We're going to keep a strength and a fire res in here. And then all the rest can go like that. Regen 2 is going to be key. I think I got that from an ancient city. Strength is good. We're going to need some healing though, which I don't think I have any of. No, so we're going to go ahead and start by bringing that in here. We have a glistering melon. This, honestly, this trap, well, it's not a trap actually. It's a, uh, it's a machine that's going to allow me to get an extra life, but it's all very, very risky, which is, is just not what you want to hear really, is it guys? But on the plus side, I have tested it so, so much. I mean, I couldn't have tested it more times, okay? I, I've, I've spent like hours and hours working on this, so I really hope it all works. Now, we are going to need pistons. We're going to need redstone, levers, trapped, everything in here, actually. It's, uh, it's very handy. We won't need observers. I'm going to need one torch. I'm going to need a bunch of repeaters. It's also going to be kelp. There's going to be... I just need one of you. He's a brood. I will grab them. Two of them can go in here, and yeah, okay, that's, that's everything I'm going to need for this plan. You see, one of the quests to get an extra life is to survive in the void, but take 10 hearts of damage in the void. And I realize I can do it without a notch apple. Is this entire procedure going to be quite risky? Yes, yes it is. I think I've got everything I need. I need to be able to break bedrock. I want to be able to disable a warden later on as well. There's, there's loads and loads of different things. And to do this entire thing, I want to be far, far away from every single player. If one of them interferes and, and disables some of my redstone or anything like that, it will mean that I will just die, which will be kind of embarrassing. So I've got to be very, very careful that nobody gets involved, ruins anything for me. And I need to make sure I do this quest before anyone else. Because I know Quiff's got a Notch Chapel, Minnie's got a Notch Chapel, Clown's got a Notch Chapel. Any one of them could do this quest. But yeah, I have to spend so much time now focusing on gaining lives just because I've lost way too many. So everything I do is going to be quests towards that. Also, one worry I have just realized, I haven't really thought about, is the fact that I'm kind of low on food. I've only got five of these. I do have a sword in my ender chest that's got looting and fire aspects, so I think maybe I should use that as an opportunity. PvP's on. Okay, let's just keep moving and uh, get as far away from here as possible. But yeah, as I'm traveling, I can go ahead and take out any cows that there are around, any pigs. Use the fire aspect. I, I could do with it not raining, though, because then they won't be cooked meat. Unless we're under here, that could, uh, that could work. Because yeah, five steak is soon going to run out. And I, I definitely need plenty of food with where I'm going because there won't be any way to get some. Oh, look at this, it's pigs. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll worry about that when the rain stops. I'm sure it can't carry on for the entire episode. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going to go over to where the general mob farm is as well. Because that is going to allow me to get a load of string. I can turn that string into wool. And then when I'm in ancient cities, it won't be a problem because I'll have loads and loads of wool. Not that I need too much wool. Because of what I'm going to be doing, like my one disabler, but yeah, anyway, it's all going to work. Better safe than sorry with the wool. Free crafting table, don't mind if I do. I can never have too many of them. I have 10 at the moment, so I'm always, I'm always collecting more. There's the farm. I should also use this opportunity to be, do a bit of switching around. I don't think anybody's nearby, but I've still got to keep my wits about me. So we'll go ahead, put that back in there. Is there anything that I could just kind of shift out of my inventory? Like the, the thing is, you've just got to be ready for PvP at all times. I guess I probably don't need all the cobbled deeps late. I just need plenty of space, so... <laughs> because I'm going to obviously get some string. I think I'm fine. I think... I don't know. Quiff and Minnie seem to be dealing with each other. And Clown can't outright attack me. He could still trap me, but he can't outright attack me. So I've got a... You know, I've, I've got a bit of a, a, a thing there where I don't have to worry too much about it. So we'll swim over here. Our depth stride is very nice. Very nice and speedy. And then we're going to get myself the string out of there. I know I have loads of string. I have loads of gunpowder as well, which is good for TNT, but string is the main thing. So let's go ahead and grab one, two, three, and four, and then we can turn that into a stack of wool. Fantastic. Do we grab a little bit more as well? I reckon we do. We go one. Let's just grab all the string we've got. So that's that's all of that. We'll put the, the rest in there. It's just going to be handy. Okay. It's going to be handy later on. From there, I've got my boat down and I am sailing. Now, 
me and Quiff kind of sailed over in that direction. So I'm going to sail this way because I don't think this has been explored. So this is this is the direction that I'm going to search. I do want to find new ancient cities as I'm exploring, but that's that's not a super important thing. First things first, do that quest, get the extra life. New lands, it's an acacia biome, very nice indeed. And the area does seem to get a bit mountainous over there. Whether it actually opens up into proper mountains, I'm not sure. Doesn't look like it, looks like it's just a, a small thing, but there is also a jungle in this. It doesn't look cool through the rain and the mist. And the ocean continues. I'm gonna keep using it then. We wanna be far, far away. If anybody interferes, it would be the biggest disaster ever. And I can keep my eye out for mountains. You know what? It's just worth having a look in that room, Paul. You never know. Like a one in a hundred. Oh, what is that? That is massive. That, whoa, look at the size of that. There could be an ancient city under there. Just a possibility. Now, yeah, we have a shipwreck here. But yeah, as I said, there's a 1% chance of getting a notch apple in a room, Paul. So it might be worth having a little look. I think it's 1%. Don't quote me on that. Is it a treasure here or is it, is it just purely, is it just the rubbish chest? It is the rubbish chest. Once, okay, I, was, I, I wonder what Quip was doing. I thought for a second it might be a death message or something, but it wasn't. Nothing, uh, Nothing's happened. You know, PvP's on, you can't be too careful. And I just walked into lava. Anyway, <laughs> where is this chest? I can't even see it. Just see creepers everywhere. Well, maybe that'll reveal it. Nope, feel like I've been scammed. Can't see a thing. You know me, I just love wasting time. Anyway, I want to go over there. Mangrove swamp as well. I don't know what the usage of that is. You get frogs there, that's about it. But it's cool to know nonetheless. The rain stopped. Thank goodness for that. Let me get my sword out, see if there's any animals around here. Gotta be something. Oh, something other than chickens. Come on, I just need a few cows. And then once I have that little bit of extra food... Now, now bear in mind, I... Hold on a second, do I have anything in my inventory chest? I know I have suspicious stew, but yeah, not got actually any proper food in my inventory chest. I used to have so much steak, didn't I, back in the day, and then it's, um... It's all been eaten bit by bit. I got, I got so much steak because I got so much leather. Where are all the animals? Is this like explored chunks or they've already been taken out? I have no idea, but this is a bit of a bit of a letdown. Just chickens everywhere I look. Every corner. I, I don't think anyone's been here, but you never know. Some people have explored far and wide. Just accept it and go for mutton, maybe? I mean, it might be, it might be worth it. Don't want to be wasting time unnecessarily, you see. Yeah, between me, I've got suspicious stew, I've got mutton, and I've got steak. That should get me through at least what I'm about to do. And I've found a cow. That's more like it. Where were you before? There's a pig over there as well. Here's what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to throw away all that. Take out the pig. Eat a bit of him. You know what? I might as well just keep that. I, I don't think I need dirt. How much dirt is here? Mm, yeah, I don't need it. And then let's dig down. Let's see what happens. I hope nobody's tracking me. They're just going to ruin everything if they do. Let's go down here. Let's begin digging down. Like, I, if I find Ancient City, it'll be nice. But I'm not wanting to find that. I've got a different plan ahead of me. Okay, we've made it to water. I'll, I'll go for a little swim down then. This would be so easy if there's nobody else on the server, but I, I get really nervous when there could be someone else. <laughs> At least the digging down's going well. It doesn't look like there's going to be any deep dark below me. There's lava down there. Okay, I want to avoid that. I'm currently pretty far down. I, I'm, I'm basically at bedrock level now. Yeah, so here we are. Alrighty. Six minutes of PvP. Hopefully nobody gets near me. It's time to set up the Void Escaper 2000. Cool name, I know. So first of all, we've got to find... Oh, that could be good. I was just about to say, we need to find some bedrock that's that's right at the bottom and not covered. That's it. Now, the only problem is I need to remove it. And the method of removing it means I'm going to have to remove bedrock around it. It's not a major issue. It's just going to take me a little bit of time to start destroying the bedrock. But I think that should be the first thing I do. Destroy the bedrock because I need to be able to get to the Void. All right? I could have done this in the end, but I, I didn't trust the others in the end. I'd rather be like a few thousand blocks away here. But I always get scared when opening the void. So, first of all, I've got to work out where I'm going to remove stuff. I'm going to start with this bit of bedrock here. So, we need obsidian. We need cobble on top. And then it's just a case of TNT like so. A lever. I need the trap door, which is there. You've seen me do this before. We flick this, and then when we put the piston down and break it, it breaks the bedrock. I also need to get rid of this bit. It's pretty easy. I think from there, I need to get rid of that. Yeah, there's just so much to destroy when you're trying to uh, open up the void, because you can't just destroy the bottom one easily. But anyway, we're getting there. Getting pretty close to where I want to be. Quiffer says he has an offer. Quiff, I have nothing to say to you, all right? You let Clown out at the end, and I have still not forgiven you, you for that, so, you know, I'm... Probably not going to be interested, but you never know. He might do something good. Once know if I'm at my base, the thing is, he's going to end up trying to come to me or something. He's going to ruin something for me. I really hope he doesn't, but I just, you know, I just don't trust Quip, all right? And he's going to end up coming and just accidentally stumbling upon what I'm doing. He'll get in my way, and I really don't want that. Anyway, we're, we're pretty close now. I've just got to remove this bit of bedrock, and then I think I'm done. I think, well, and then I've got to remove the... There's actually a few different bits I can remove, but I think I'll just... Go with that one still. So the moment of truth. Don't mess this one up, SB. We're going to go like this. We're going to be breaking this. And it's going to open up the void. I think it's worked. Let's see. Yep, there we go. That's the chute that I'm going to be going down. So let's just pick up my obsidian. 
And then I'm going to block all of this. I need to get to a certain height, 60, which I think is there. Then that can go like that. Okay, nice. Put the trap door like that. Then when I'm stood in this corner, it'll open. Because I've got, I've got to get the timings perfect for this. Maybe I'll leave it there. Yeah, I've, I mean, I've tested this redstone and I'm pretty confident in it. We now need 13 repeaters worth. And these 13 repeaters need to connect up to a stasis chamber. So if I break this, then I can go ahead and place this down. I can add water right at the very top. Followed by a bunch of kelp. Break all my repeaters. Nice. Not not intended. Um, <laughs> I don't need it to be that high, do I? So let's go like that. I think this should work if I now break all the kelp. Mini Mooka's in the end. Okay, he's uh, he's gone to He's kind of making himself a little bit of a target there, but I'm sure he'll be okay. I'm going to make a staircase down to where I've done all of that stuff. Nice. So I can get up and down, no problem. And basically, I just need to hook this up so that there's going to be a torch there. Then there's going to be a trap door. Do I have any trap doors? Yep, we do. Uh, like that. So that's going to be open. Perfect. Then I'm going to patch that up. I'm going to get these repeaters back down. There has to be 13. If I get that wrong, it could mess up the entire thing. So I've, I've tested all the timings in a world. Ah, is this going to work? It should it should work fine, shouldn't it? I think. Um, yeah, I'm fairly, fairly confident about all of this. Might make a slight adjustment to the redstone. And just, yeah, I'm going to actually grab a repeater. Change that to redstone dust. It, it would still work anyway, but I, I don't know. My paranoid brain decides it wants to do it a different way. We'll go like that. Okay. So, <laughs> from here, you know what? Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Right. If I flick this lever, we're going to just test that it all works correctly. We can do that with an ender pearl. So, we throw the ender pearl like that. It's in stasis, and it's, it's working fine. We're then going to stand right here. And flick this, and about six seconds later, we should get TP'd, okay? All being well. We did. Okay, six or seven seconds later. Fantastic. So it's worked. We can turn it off. We can then throw an ender pearl, just like that. Fantastic. Check the ender pearl's ready. And I am, I am ready to now go into the void. Kinda. I mean, I'm not personally ready for it, but I've done everything that I need to do. As long as nobody comes and finds me, then I'll, I'll be all right. I'm going to... Anyone want to hang out? Okay, well, many, this is not the time for that. But yeah, I'm going to get myself some stuff down. I'm actually going to throw away quite a few things because I need space in the inventory. I used up my only water there as well, which isn't the smartest thing in the world. We can sort that out later. I'm crafting a double chest because I'm going to put all my items in because there's no point risking all my stuff. You know, there's always a chance that I could die and I don't, I don't really want to risk that. So as long as PvP doesn't come on at like the worst time ever. Now, to do this, I am going to need the regen the healing, the golden apple, and the suspicious shoes. I'm going to have two of these suspicious shoes, okay? That is going to get me everything. I'm actually going to get myself a couple more healings. Just because, you know, if anything goes wrong, I want to drink them. And the ender pearl's in place. My armor. My armor's going to come out. I'm not going to take that off just yet, though, in case something, something bad happens. I will, though, take my shield off and put that in there. My heart is racing, guys. My heart is racing. This has to work, okay? I need to open it up and then go in the void. I'm going to do one more thing as well. One last thing. I'm going to take three of this. I'm going to take three of the wool. I'm going to make a bed, and I'm going to set my spawn, okay? Um, so, there we go. I've got into bed. I'm going to get out of bed. I practiced this a million times. It's all there. I can't, I can't do any more, guys, okay? I've got to go and take 10 hearts of damage in the void. Right, armor can now come on. What am I doing? I'm, I'm so terrified. In fact, the armor's just going to stay on for another second, just whilst there's no one around. I break this. That's the void, all right? It opens up. We put that in there. Okay, we go like that. Okay, right. So, step one. We stand here. We eat the suspicious stew. Alrighty. We eat the golden apple. We drink the potion of regen. In fact, we have one more suspicious stew. Okay. We drink the regen. And that alone should be enough. I'm opening it up. And we're going. Okay. Taking the damage. Come on. Come on. Please work. Please work. Please work. It worked! It worked! And, and I'm going to review the footage, but I took, I think I took six ticks of damage, which is, let's close that up, 
which is 12 hearts because you take two hearts of damage every tick. Let me just review the footage. Just realized I trapped myself in here, but I have reviewed the footage and it is definitely six times that I took damage. So I took 12 hearts, which is more than the 10 needed. And we're back up to four lives. That absolutely needed to be done. If that had gone wrong, it would have been very sad, okay? But preparation paid off there, okay? And now I can move on to phase two of my plan, which is to build a Warden Disabler. So I say contraption that requires chains, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to get one more ingot. I, I think that's all the chains I'll need. Ten, no, nine. Well, that's that should be fine. I'll pick up all the rest of the stuff. I can get out of here with my head held high. I might as well keep these repeaters. Repeaters, at the very least, are kind of rare. I mean, I'm not too bothered about all the rest. Because redstone and levers are pretty easy to get. I'll take the bed as well. Why not? But we are going to need space in the inventory for all the ancient city loot that I plan to get. I should probably just get more shulker shells. That's kind of an important thing. Anyway, let's get out of here. Man, my heart was beating fast. It was really... I was really worked. If that went wrong, I'm in the void and I'm dead. And that's it. <laughs> I lose another life. Down to two lives. Instead, out of the jaws of death, we got to four. Like I said, we're supposed to... It was either... It was either we die... Oh, a man shot. But it was either I die or I gain extra life. No in between. There's dirt above me, I'm out, yes, okay, finally, we've made it back to the top, and I am now on a search for ancient cities. I did die in the ancient cities last episode, but this time I'm going to have my revenge, and things are going to be much, much different. Man, I don't know, I feel good. Look at this, we've got food everywhere as well. You know, everything is just starting to come together, ladies and gentlemen. It could all go wrong again, I could lose that life to another warden, but... I'm much more confident this time that I won't be so stupid and do that same thing again. We'll see, though. We'll see. I've got my golden apples. I don't actually need the golden apples, I don't think. I mean, I could use them for PvP, but they're not super important. I did that. I did well to not even have to use a notch apple to survive the void, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Good preparation, good thinking, good research. I realised I didn't actually need the healing pots either, but they were just an extra precaution in case. I don't even think I technically needed the golden apple. I think maybe with regen and full saturation... I could do it, but I was like, the golden apple is just an extra thing, fairly cheap. And then the healing pots. Maybe I shouldn't use the golden apple and then it, and just use the healing pot. Then it would have saved me a gapple since they're kind of rare. But you know what? Where we're going, we're getting notch apples. Golden apples will be old news. You Let me tell you that. And basically, all I'm doing is just looking out for a massive mountain. Because that's probably where an ancient city is going to be. I'm just searching the land for that. Don't think there's going to be that many mountains to be found in a jungle. But I'm just going to continue searching the area. Oh, a Oh, hello, hello, hello. This is nice, a desert. I don't know what's useful here. Maybe hay bales. Although realistically, probably not. More to the point. Oh, we've got a desert pyramid. And if I had fish, I would tame some cats because getting a complete catalog, I think is an extra life quest. Okay, never mind. It isn't an extra life quest. Just uh, forget I said that. So I won't be coming back with fish. Hey, maybe maybe that should be added. I'll put it to a vote for everyone to see, uh, see if they want it. Since it is cool having these quests and it looks like I was beaten to it by somebody else. Lovely. Wait, is this the mesa that me and Quiff were at last time? I have no idea. I really don't. But uh, I, I, find, I kind of found that if I just sail along the coast, I tend to find... Well, I, I, it's, it's easier, it uses less food, and it's faster to try and find mountains. It's interesting that someone's been at this desert. I wonder if it's recently, or maybe just someone's explored it before and, and been over this way. Who knows? But I, I should, yeah, probably kind of follow the coast round to find some better land. I've once again come to a mesa band. The size of that mountain, the erosion level's got to be pretty high on that because it is such... A massive mountain. So I reckon I dig down somewhere around here. I reckon there's got to be deep, dark, and ancient city below. I don't think it's where me and Quiff were at last time. I hope not. That would be kind of a sad thing. But I guess we'll see. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. We're getting down to deep slate areas. My only issue is I need two buckets of water, and I forgot to refill that one from the stasis. Oh, hold on a second. We're in deep dark. Okay. So <gasps> we found one. Okay. Okay. Right, oh, and there's a shrieker right there. Of course there's a shrieker right there. All right, SB, don't mess this up this time. Be more careful. There's water over there. Let's start with the water, all right? And it's pretty important that I keep my warden level as low as possible. Don't unnecessarily activate a single shrieker. Like, I have plenty of wool. I might as well use it. How high does that water go? Are you kidding me? Right, here's what we're going to do. I don't think there's a shrieker down here. But MLG it. Then we swim up, getting the other bucket in hand, all right? We just kind of, you can just kind of do it like a fast swim like this. Like it, it boosts you slightly. Oh, and then we can swim against the wall. That'll speed it up. Okay, whoop, missed it. <laughs> How high is this? Wow. Okay, this cave goes really, really high. Oh, there's more water over there as well. Anyway, we grab that. Then we can, I think we can, yeah, we can safely just kind of drop down. But we're going to, we're going to do it gracefully and patiently. Then while staying crouched, I'm going to carefully enter the ancient city. And I need to find a shrieker that's in a good spot. That's not really surrounded 
buy loads of blocks or other shriekers or skulk sensors. I know that's a lot to ask, but that's that's what I'm after. So I'm going to carefully search around. Probably, yeah, work my way to the middle. Although the good ones are usually on the outside. Is that one over there? Could be a good one. It might be a little bit close to the wall. It's not far off being perfect. The only worry is that there's a shrieker there. Is that another shrieker and sensors? So if I get too close, I'm going to activate that. That's, that's the only possible thing that can go wrong. Let's just cover this in wool on all sides. I'm pretty sure breaking this... Okay, PvP's up. That's always nice. I'm pretty sure breaking this won't activate it. Let's just see. It didn't. Okay. Then we put the wall there. Okay, it's covered on all sides. I shouldn't need to go too near all of that. It's just the fact that something might trigger the skulk sensors and then they trigger those. That's the only slight worry. But I need to... I need to build out one, two, three. Now, this is where the slabs come in, okay? So... It needs to be one, two, three, four, and then the slab. I think I think the slabs go on the fourth block. Same on this side. I've, I need to get my hoe out, actually, because then we can start breaking all sorts of stuff. So let's just swap that out. I don't think there's any other shriekers around me. So I think other than keeping an eye on those over there, I don't have to panic too much, but keep my eye out. Got to break all these because they are problematic so let's get rid of you and you i don't think there's any more nearby that i can see other than you then we start breaking okay this this is obviously a quick bit we just need a nice flat area for me to create a border of slabs all the way around okay so this is gonna go like so and this is this is like how we mark out the area that's gonna be spawn proofed okay hopefully the, the only thing to go wrong is that activates a skull sense i'm worried but you know what why why worry why worry when i can do something like this Okay, we build a wall of wool. Okay, that should block any sounds getting across. Okay, which is which is kind of key. Now, yeah, we can place those in peace without having to worry too much. Get all of that down. And then we can begin on the redstone. We do need to get rid of any of these as well because they will block any water. So I think, I think that's everything. I'm just going to go and check this chest now. The reason for that is I just feel like it and it might have something good. A lot of coal, which, you know, is kind of useful, I guess. And I'll, I don't need the XP bottle. I don't need ah, the name tag. Yeah, I can't say no to a name tag. All right, that's good. We'll break that chest. Next, we go slab, slab. We put the piston on top. Okay, then it's water time. So I need to make an infinite water source. Uh, I'll just break these with my fist to do that. It's going to be fairly quick. So water there, water there. Then we can go ahead and pick it up. Now, chunk loaders don't really work very well on this server, which is why I'm having to make one of these every time I kind of go to a new ancient city. I forgot skulk sensors. I forgot skulk sensors. Okay, I need to pick one up. I, I do have silk touch and there's one there. Okay, good news. Good job we're in a place where there's loads of skulk sensors. <laughs> Got worried that I just messed up the entire thing, but I haven't at all, which is, uh, which is good news. We'll get rid of that deep slate to make space for this. So I'm not going to put the skulk sensor down just yet. First, that's all in place. Um, I do also need to put a chain. I don't believe I forgot skulk sensors. But yeah, chain needs to go above that. Then I'm just going to keep using the water to fill in the entire thing. I don't think that should set off anything. And as long as this entire board is filled in, we're good. Okay, so that's all perfect. Now I've got my bow and arrow, so that's, that's good news. We'll refill those. I then need to start breaking stuff. I've got redstone handy. Got the skulk sensor. Yeah, we're going to just start. I shouldn't have broken that one, actually. I just need to break the ones around it to begin with. That's the wool gone. You can see it's still all spawn proof, but we have exposed the thing. Um, now I need to... I think I need to break that one. Put that there. Okay, it's set the shrieker off. So if this is wrong, I'm in trouble. But we go ahead, go like that. Okay. Now, in theory, if a warden tries to spawn, it can't. Or can it? It can. It can. I'll tell you why it can. <sighs> Idiot SP. Okay. Yeah, I, I I made a mistake. I haven't I haven't got rid of the uh, the roof, so it could spawn up there theoretically. All right, you're an idiot, SP. You're an absolute idiot. <laughs> As usual, SP forgets something. All right, well at least I didn't forget till it was too late. That would have been a it would have been a disaster. But yeah, basically anything that's over this, I need to remove. Okay, so these blocks definitely need to go. The walls don't really need to because they're wooden. I don't think can spawn on walls, but just in case we get rid of them. All right, it that's all of that safe. These walls are going... These are probably too high up anyway to worry about, which is good. We break this platform, at least the part of the platform that is above, which is still quite a bit. There we go. And then we're safer, all right? This has been relatively slow compared to... I could do it in under five minutes when I'm not being careful, but obviously I'm being very, very careful in this. That's 
back to how it should be. We can break all of this safely and securely. Then I'm just going to stay crouched. All right, yeah, we, we break this now. Redstone back. Okay, I don't think they can spawn anywhere. I think I've spawn proofed it all correctly. I hope I have. Let's go ahead. Uh, if I haven't, I'm getting out of here. Uh, let me tell you. So, arrow there. That's now going to keep, keep activating itself. The warden level should be kind of high. And if I've done everything correctly, the warden disabler is now active. Okay? And as long as it's in loaded chunks, it will be working. I, that's, a, that's a scary warden sound, but it doesn't matter. Because the warden can't spawn. If I now move away, I should avoid getting the darkness effect. Yep, not got it. And I can go up here. Yes! That's right. We've disabled the one, so now we can freely search this place without it. This is this is called preparation and being careful. This is the SP that I should be all the way through, friend or foe, not just part of the way. We're going to grab coal. I'm breaking swift snake. I don't really need either of those. Might as well start picking up bottles of XP. I don't know what for. We can probably get room there. And then I'll just break, break any of that else that I don't need. And there's chests to be found everywhere. So this is how I'm going to kind of start collecting nut chapels in a nice, safe and secure way. Just running around, you know. It makes it so much easier to see the chests because you haven't got the darkness effect. Yeah, this was this was definitely needed. And, you know, unless somebody comes and finds me, they can they can they can spawn the warden in, but I can't, okay? It only disables the warden for me, which is, you know, I'm absolutely fine with that. We might as well start using some blocks, so we'll bridge across here and hopefully find not chapels. That's the plan. But some good mending nice, that's fantastic. Can I get a bit more space in my inventory, do you think? Have we got any we could open it up just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and I'll put the golden apples in there. I don't know why I chose that of all things, but there we go. You see, this is where I, yeah, I need to... Met, oh, Swift it. we're not going to take that. Everything else doesn't need to be taken. The coal will probably pick up. I can walk across those. No one can spawn. It's fantastic, okay? Now, I've got to be careful because if I go really far away from that and it's out of render distance and simulation distance, then it could be a problem, but I've got 16 chunks, which 16 times 16... Whatever that number is. 192 if my memory serves me well. I'm not going to... You know what? I could keep that. Because it's not the worst thing to have, is it? Uh, this is where I just have to start getting rid of stuff like stone. I'm going to need skulk sensors if I build more of these. So... Oh, no. This is getting difficult now. I've got a really, really crowded inventory, haven't I? Why didn't I just get more shulker boxes? I'm going to throw away the gold. Because I don't need that. And then that can go in there. <laughs> Swift need three. I've got to take it. How about we... We have a suspicious stew. There's a random bit of cobbled deeps like get out of there, all right? Let's now, now we got a little bit more space. Other side as well. I'm using this. That's cool. Anyway, I'm not gonna not gonna bother with that. And the search can continue. This is this is like so much nicer. Um, I, I see. Curse of vanishing is always good for diamond leggings. I, I mean, I've got that many diamond leggings. I probably don't need any more. Respiration three. Do I already have that on my helmet? I, I'm probably not gonna worry about respiration three too much. It's not exactly a rare book. I, you know, oh, there's mending on the leggings. You've got to take mending on leggings, haven't you? You have to. Yeah, I generally think my biggest mistake here was just not bringing uh, shulker box. But I don't really have any shulker box. Because I haven't really been to the end. I, I don't go to the end. I'm too worried about somebody trapping me or something happening to me. So I haven't been to the end. Otherwise, I would go. I just need to be more prepared for it, really. And then, I'll, and then I will have no problem doing it. There's not much. There's got to be notch apples around here. So if I search this entire ancient city and there's no notch apples, it will be a sad thing. It won't be too surprising, but it will be sad. Little dungeon here, not bad. And in the chest... Oh, a golden apple. That's pretty good, you know. I'm starting to wonder what I should get rid of. What do you reckon? Prot three diamond legs. I don't think I need them. You know, I really don't think they're that important to me. So they can go. The next thing to be going is going to be that mutton. I'll try and eat it, but yeah, that's probably going to be the next thing. We'll mine up that chest as well, just in case there was anything I could pick up. Another chest with nothing good in it. What is this? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm getting, I'm getting books and I'm getting potentially getting notch apples. Suddenly you get a chest of like three in it or something. But not that one. Although it does have mending, which kind of outweighs it. I'll take that. All right, Mutton, you're out. We're going to end up getting rid of so much stuff here, aren't we? I, I don't know how that's still there. You know what? Those blocks don't need to be there. We'll put stone instead. Another name tag. 55 salt touch. Not bad, but uh, a good hoe isn't isn't that important to me. Piercing three, lure three. All not that important, I don't think. It's productive. Whichever way you look at it, this is very, very productive indeed. Fallen three. I, I can't work if that's good or not. I think it's worth having, but I don't know if it's that good, but I'll take it. You know what? These XP bottles, I should just use them. I, you know, they are kind of useful if I've got mending and then a mid-battle and I want to repair my armor, but I'm not going to think about that too much at the moment. You know, there's, there's bigger things to worry about. I've got this mutton. Let's, let's try eating that up. And I've nearly done a full loop. As you can see, there's, the, there's my little disabler. So I've got to now go into all these ins and out parts that I might have missed. Like, there's got to be one here, I think. I don't think I went into that, so... Let's go and bridge across and... See. Oh, no, I did go here. Okay, never mind. Is there, any, is there any bits I haven't been to? The answer will almost certainly be yes. It is indeed, because I have not been to this one. 
Still nothing good. Another swift snake. The thing is, I kind of do want to get multiple swift snakes because they are very useful on your arm. Like, you know, I, I, I just like having swift snake. It's, it's a useful thing. You can crouch and move fast. Why would you not want that? I think this is another one I haven't been to. So let's have a little look. It's, oh, it doesn't, maybe I have been here. Yeah, I must have been here. Pretty decent job of being thorough first time round here, really, didn't I? But anyway, let's see. Anything down here, perhaps? I think it's all being searched. So I've got to get out of here and I'm going to try and find another ancient. I can't believe there wasn't one not chapel in there. That is very unfortunate. PvP's just come on. But it's, anyway, it's also not the end of the world. I can explore and find, you know, well, I can't find ancient cities easily, but I can explore and loot them pretty easily now with this disabler. I just have to be very, very careful. Why is Clown saying hello? I have no idea. Anyway, I'm just going to dig my way out. Maybe it was just being nice. I hopefully he doesn't want to do anything because I can't. Well, I don't want to PvP. Well, he's not going to PvP me, but he might try and trap me or anything. I know, I know what he's like. Especially when I'm in an ancient city. He'll do something to spawn the warden or, or whatever and, and, and try and make me dagger. You know, now he's seen me gain a life. He's like, oh, I don't want SP to gain a life. I'm going to do something to... Put a stop to that. Also, look at that. We're straight out. Nice. That's, uh, that's very handy indeed. And exploration can continue. I actually think that Mesa Biomes are a really good place to find ancient cities. Just because there's a lot of mountains in them. And I know they're not like the top, top mountains. So there's never always a guarantee that there's going to be a deep dark below them. But they're pretty tall mountains. And they're pretty big mountains. Which gives, you know, a decent chance that there's going to be something below them. Like, to be honest, the mountain I'm on right now is pretty tall. And there's a lush cave below me. Okay, you know what? Should we give it a go? We'll see what's down there. Worst case, I just have to build back up and I'll just run a bit further away. But you, you never know, do you? Also, going to be careful because, I don't know. I don't know if Cloud's stalking me or something. You don't want to let him just drop dripstone on you or anything like that, DSP. So, I'm going <laughs> to, just going to, you know, build like this. Nice and steady. Nice. Okay, well, don't get crushed by grandma yourself, I suppose. Might I just die to my own device. <gasps> nice MLG. Beautiful. All right, we're in a bit of... I told you there's a list cave below, and I wasn't wrong. Okay, but this is not where we want to be. I think I'm just going to continue digging down, because I'm way too high up for what I need. Let's go like that. There we go. Get it all blocked up so that we don't have any... Anything, basically, dropping down. Creepers, whatever. Yeah. Safe than sorry, I always say. That's my... My newest motto, I'm trying to be much safer on this series because I've messed up way too many times. Hence the reason I'm disabling the warden when I go looking for not chapels, you know. I think it's just a bit of a wiser move than going gung-ho like I usually do, you know. Which sometimes works, but sometimes it doesn't work as well. I'm also now digging down in a staircase because if I self a shrieker, because of my warning level, of warden warning level, whatever it is, I will spawn one. And I don't... Oh, okay. We've got another one. Nice. Right. Yeah, this is why I didn't dig down. I didn't want to fall in there. So I have to, at all costs avoid <laughs> activating a shrieker. I need to try and find a way to safely get down. Is there any shriekers below me? There's not really any way to dig down. Oh, this is this is actually a little bit nerve-wracking now. The second one's always the scariest. Looks like I can kind of dig down this way. So again, the lower I can get, the better. All right, this doesn't look too bad. Do I just go for it? On that block. Here we go. We're okay. Alrighty. Fantastic. Now I'm on the wall. You know what? I should put swift sneak on these leggings and then that's going to help me loads. Have I got... Look at that. We've got it there. I've got an anvil, I'm pretty sure, in my ender chest. Yep, we have. Let's put that on. Okay. Why did I put it on that? Okay. Well, let's... You know what? We're going to be getting mended. Do I have enough XP? I don't have enough XP now, do I? Well, that's uh, that's unfortunate. 35 levels. What on earth? Looks like we're going in with fire protection and not normal protection. If I die now, you know why. But anyway, we've got swift sneak, even if I am an idiot. I wonder if I could get to the chest up there without setting off anything. Because there doesn't seem to be anything around me, does that? I mean, it, it's, I mean, it's pretty high up, so I think I can safely get to this one. You never know, it could just have a not chapter like that. Well, let's get out of here. We don't need to bother with the rest. I will build the one disabler again, but you never know. Let's have a little look. New leggings, mending and breaking. I've got to, you've got to take mending leggings, haven't you? You've just, you've got to. Do I get rid of these old protection for ones? I don't know. Let's get rid of that for now. And there is skulk, which means I could easily get some XP quickly. Maybe that's just worth doing. Let's just, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to get much XP, but it, it could be handy, okay? Just to get a little bit. Nicely done. Back to the plan. We need to find a good Shrieker. This, is that... Nah, um, I don't like that one down there. I think I pretty much... Oh, look at that. Diamonds in the room. I, I, I think I pretty much only have one choice, and that is to, to get down here and search on foot. Now, we can do a little... Oh, okay. There's one here. Is this any good? There's space next to it. I don't think... It depends if there's any Shriekers around it, though. I can, I can disable it, anyway, with the wool, which is a good first start. Now, let's have a little look. Is there any shriekers too nearby for me? Not that I can see. Not at first glance, which gives me a little bit of confidence. 
sometimes these ones above though, you've got to you've got to be careful. See, what did I tell you? There's one up there. That's actually far away enough not to be a problem, I think. So I, I should be okay. Just don't open that chest because it'll activate everything. Got to manually mine up the wall. I don't have enough space. I do actually have shears in my ender chest, so I should get them. But I'm afraid of activating something if I start messing about with ender chest. So let's just get that down. Next, we are going to get the hoe back out and we need to get rid of all these sensors. All right, because these, these are problematic. These could cause any issues, any possible thing. I've got two skulk sensors already. Let's just get rid of that. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's everything's fine. Another shrieker over there, but that's miles away. I can break this. See, the issue is I've got to break all that up there. And it, will it activate the shrieker? You know what? We're going risky, guys. All right? Here's what we're going to do. Step one, we go into the ender chest. Step two, we retrieve the shears and we put the helmet in there. Don't know how I've still got that helmet. I threw it away. I thought I threw it away, actually. Then I build up using wool, okay? We, we don't need the shears right now. We need the, the, the hoe. From there, we have to navigate... <laughs> What am I doing? From there, we have to navigate past all the skulk sensors. Don't activate a single one, SP, all right? You're a, you're a good player, all right? All you have to do is just walk past them without stepping on them. There you go. Then, mine it up. Broken before it can be activated. All right, now I don't have to panic, all right? You can go, you can go, get lost. That's it. See you all later. The wool can be removed. I think the blocks all the way at the top are not a problem. In fact, can I, can I go in here now? Nothing too interesting in there, but we can we can just break it, can't we? There we go. Because next, yeah, we just need to break that space around it. All right, it, the, the hose coming back out, okay? So, one, two, three, and then on the fourth block, all that roof's gonna have to go as well, actually. So, I think that's all high enough, and I don't have to worry about it, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. A little bit of stone. Then, it's once again, it's just the same setup, okay? We go this far out. Let's mine that with my fist. We place it on the fourth block. We go one, two, three. Place it on the fourth block. One, two. Okay, well, we need to do a little bit of mining out here as well because it's a bit of a banking in the wet. Man, I just don't have enough space for everything here, do I? Anyway, we'll get rid of that. Then one, two, three, and on the fourth block. So that is many asking if I'm always done. I'll never be done. My goodness, I've, I've, well, I think once we explore this ancient city and get, I'll be done when I've got not chapels. You see, wardens cannot spawn on slabs. That's why I'm placing slabs down. And then they also can't spawn on water. And water's just cheaper than slabs, so I get the area marked out and then I can put the water down. That's the thinking behind that. We'll get rid of that. I, I know for a fact they can't spawn on walls, but that should be pretty good. We do need to just also come along here and break a bunch of them. And then this this is the only other bit that needs to go. Imagine if Clown's looking for me and he, he comes and gets me. That would be like the worst thing to ever happen, wouldn't it? Anyway, I'm sure it won't, but you never know. That's, um, that's all spawn proof now, I think. I think I'm good. I think I'm safe. Time for the infinite water source. And then this bit is the building part, which is, is really quick, to be honest. The, the, the hardest part is, I suppose, spawn. you proofing it all. Once the spawn proofing is down, I'll just get... Uh, yeah, I need a piston here. Then you get your slab and your slab. That Now that's done, it's just a case of putting down the water. In fact, we'll just, we'll just use one bucket. We don't need them both, do we? I just put down, like, probably four buckets of water. Okay, yeah, I need to get rid of this as well. That's, uh, that's problematic. Stops things from being able to... Well, water to being able to flow. Is the one in the corner? No, because we just need one more bucket of water. And then the second warden disabler is down. And I, I'm telling you, I have to find a not chapel in this ancient city. There's no way I don't. I need a chain. That's kind of important as well. And I think everything's good. I, I don't see what I've done wrong. If the warden spawns, I'm just leaving. All right, that's it. End of the episode. Not staying around. <laughs> so I need to, first of all, break these three. Then I think I, think I break the top one as well, don't I? So I'll break the top one. Then we get the skulk sensor down. We come down here. Okay, that's now broken. I need to get the redstone in like that. We're good. Okay, nothing, nothing spawned. And, and finally, there needs to be a arrow on there. It's kind of key. And I think we're good. Yep, no ones can spawn. We're safe. I can eat some mutton, which is going to free up an extra space in the inventory. Fantastic. An exploration can begin without me having to worry about a warden spawning. What a lovely day this is today. Don't have to worry. We can go around. This looks cool. This is a pretty big open thing. Do I have any other blocks on me? Not really. Okay, so we, we once we kind of use this stone, we're running low. Come on, not chapels. Oh, yes, we got one. Fantastic. I didn't even notice it. Okay. That now makes this entire video worth it, guys. All right? Everything I've done. I don't even know what that book is. It could be a good book, you know? Looting one. All right. It wasn't really. Okay. It wasn't really. I, I threw away the boat and I'd still stand by that. I think I'll, I'll I'll just, you know, wait till I get something else decent. A lot of mobs over there. Mobs can't spawn in a deep dark biome, but they can spawn next to it, which is why they were all spawning over there. 
I am now going to get myself up here. So yeah, my only worry... Well, it's not a worry, but it's going to be annoying when I have no blocks left, which is right now. I, I guess I could use slabs, maybe? I mean, this is going to be the last ancient city I explore. I'm, I'm hopeful that I get more than one Notch Apple. Especially considering I've got one fairly early on. That's a, you know, a really good start. Maybe if I get a Silk Touch Hoe, I could mine the Skulk and use that as blocks. That could be a, a smart thing. Anyway, we're going to we're gonna use up all these slabs because... We're not really... Okay, well, great, pe uh, great parkour, SP. Take two. It was the world's easiest jump. So I don't know why I missed that. And we've come to another chest. Another chest. See, look at this. Well, I don't want Cursor Binding. That'd be annoying. More mending? Oh, it's it's great. We'll take that. Don't need piercing. We'll, we'll mine up the rest of it. It's just good loot, isn't it? I, I would love to get some, some more rare books as well that, that uh, you can't really get very easily. They, they'd be good. Like mending. I've got a few mending books, which is fantastic, but... You know, other ones will be... I no, nothing springs to mind, but I'll know it when I see it. More swift sneak is always handy. It, I, okay, I've got to be careful because I'm quite far away now from the machine. It's possible it's out of render distance, and if that's the case, then I will be in trouble. Although it seems we're all right, unless there's just no shriekers around here. So I, I am conscious about that. Okay, nothing good again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, game. Not chapels is all I'm asking for. But yeah, this is the furthest point from it, so if this is okay, we're probably just going to be safe. Which I think we are. Don't like using up all my wool like this, really. Because wool's pretty... Not precious, but it's a useful thing, isn't it? My goodness. What have we got here? Who wants to look at the sea? I mean, you could just fish that up anyway. When I said I want some enchantments that are rare to get, that is not what I meant. You know, this really takes the tension out of exploring ancient cities. It's just what the doctor ordered. A nice relaxed episode. Curse of Bind... That could be useful. That could be very, very useful indeed. I, I'm going to take that. Where did one of my ender chests go? Did I leave an ender chest behind? Or did I put it in my ender chest? Sometimes I've done that before. Yeah. Oh, well, that opens up an extra slot. It <laughs> put my ender chest in the ender chest. We will put Swift Sneak in there. In fact, you know what? Let's put Curse of Binding in there. That, that could be a cool thing to uh, to do. Also getting so many name tags. I don't, I don't know what use they have. I, I did need the name tag when I was trying to trap the warden. Other than that, haven't really seen much use for it. But you never know. If, if at some point I need one, I've, I'll, I'll have them. Might as well just carry them. I'll have 11 of them as well, which is nice. Maybe more by the end of this. Two notch apples. Let's go. Okay, we're now getting to the point where we have the most notch apples on the server. I'm pretty sure. If we can get a few more out of here, we're, we're, we're laughing. We're absolutely laughing, which would be fantastic. I do need to eat. Is there any food I can eat that's going to free up space? Should we eat a suspicious stew? Why not? We can eat a suspicious stew. Then... We can chuck it in there. And can we chuck... Oh, Gapple's in there. Oh, there's so much extra space to be added. All right. We're, we're just going to try and make it so that that's like that. And then... Those those are four free slots, okay? Four free slots there of, of stuff. Because I don't need loot in one. I don't need the skulk. And I think I'm getting close to doing a full loop. Okay, I've been to that one. Was there another one next? I don't think I went to over here, did I? Couldn't really get into this area. There's Sometimes there's a chest hidden underneath. Not this time. But there is a chest above which I haven't looted. So if I could get one more Notch Apple, it would be amazing. No guarantees, but it oh, would be great. I think there is, yeah, still stuff to be explored here. So this end is pretty empty. My machine was somewhere over there. Did I? Did I already? I think I already came to this one, didn't I? I think this was the first bit I came to. So yeah, because I've got darkness. That's how I know I'm near my machine. It can't spawn a warden, but still spawn in the darkness. But it's these inside chests, yeah, that I need to search. Should we use Skulk as a bit of a, a bit of a bridge? Might as well. Better than nothing. And inside there, again, nothing of particular use. I think I've done most of these, just trying to spot any... I, I got three Notch Apples. If I can't find any more chests, I, I'm not going to be too disappointed. I'm not going to search another ancient city today, but you, you never know. There could be another chest dotted around I haven't got. Here's another chest I haven't searched. Oh, okay, they're good leggings again. Swift Snake one, maybe not as good. Spotted another one. And again, <laughs> nothing of use. Oh, man, there's loads that I missed. What am I playing at? What's uh, what's in here? I, well, yeah, again, I I'll take the name tag. And I'm pretty sure at this point, that's all of them. I can't see any more. I'm also going to pick up Skulk Sensors because they are going to be useful for contraptions of traps and stuff like that. You just never know when you need a Skulk Sensor. Even though I found on this server, sometimes the Skulk Sensor randomly goes off even when you're not in the area. I don't know why. It just makes my traps execute themselves with nobody there. So do one final sweep along these middle bits and I can get out of it. I can use this water to... Hang on a minute! There's one that I missed. Is, is that... I, I'm pretty sure this has got to be the last one. It's not going to not chapel in, but hey, at least I didn't miss it. Now I'm swimming out of here. I think I've, I think I've checked every single other bit. I can't see anywhere I've missed. I could spend all day looking at this point. Okay, whoa! Okay, well, I didn't get that off in time. <laughs> didn't get my shield up. Let's just keep moving upwards and past all these mobs. There's a lot down here, isn't there? Wow. I think I'm pretty much back where I all started. Back into the 
lush cave. And I can see the sky. Fantastic. I wish I had an elytra and I could just fly out, but I don't. I've got to work my way out like a peasant. Although I have got quite a lot of skulk blocks, which is nice. Because it means I've got some sort of block to escape with. This has got to go down as one of my best episodes. I gained a life and got three notch apples plus so many books. It really does not get any better than that. Next episode, I might go for more notch apples. I also want to drop off all my stuff home and get more shulker boxes. But yeah, incredible episode. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to get your signed friend or foe poster on sp77.store. We all signed it. And yes, it's true. I, I have ears.